let the name of lord be glorified dear friends and my dear children at the outset i would like to thank all the ender team of uae for having given me an opportunity to share some reflections of marivanyus pidava the servant of god the founder and the first head of zero malangara church i would like to appreciate the uae team and father kandathil for the efforts they have taken to spread the life the message and the sanctity of marivanyus bishop far and wide before getting started dear children shall i ask you a question do you have any role model who is your role model i do have a role model he is the epitome of faith integrity sacrifice love and what not any guesses that's none other than marivanyos the servant of god a loving father the ultimate role model of all human beings the person who showed how to lead his life of sanctity a life of faith how to pray how to be kind and tender towards the needy and the poor his grace is an amazing personality with a knowledge of lexicographer patience and perseverance of a hermitage and tactics of a cross country runner beyond any doubt we can say that all the qualities of a great father are blended harmoniously in marivanyus bishop i feel privileged to share some reflections of marivanyus bishop the servant of god a compassionate father his love towards kids his attitude towards poor and needy his kindness towards the marginalized and downtrodden and his forgiveness marivanyus an icon of love beacon of faith and an epitome of kindness his capacity for generosity had no no boundaries as a generous person i am sure that his heart will be 10 times larger than an average heart he was chosen and set apart by the god almighty to lead the malangara syrian catholic church with a dynamic and prophetic mission the personal aura of marivanyus influenced a lot his capacity to take right decision his mindfulness his strength and confidence acquired through knowledge education experience and his ability to work tirelessly his inclusiveness his conflict resolution techniques and what and what not all these are his cardinal traits his advocacy has always rooted not in the facts and fashions and not in the trends but it is directly knitted around the gospel of god having great concern and love towards children he was very interested in writing books for them for orienting them and for the spiritual growth i would like to present few books before you bible stories it was written by marivanyus pidava in 1934 it has got three volumes books for catechism this catechism books has got nine volumes and it was published in 1934 and the third book is kuttigalude swarga patha it was published on 1929 which shows how divinity can be achieved and the fourth book is love of god it was published in 1927 this book deals with the vast reservoir of love that god has in store for us another book is marga prakashika it was published in 1929 in the first two chapters the love of god was described very systematically then the sixth book is prarthana sahai which was published in 1926 it was a compilation of short prayers and the seventh book is occasional prayers for children which gives us how to pray on each and every occasion the eighth one is cheriya paidangalude namaskara kramam which was published in 1929 it covers prayers for children 
These eight books are very helpful for the children. Marivanis Bishop also written a book called Balapadam. It was very amazing. The strategies followed in this book was very interesting. It creates, it enhances, it develops critical thinking, creative thinking, problem solving and empathy in children. Let me give an example. In his book Balapadam to teach a Bible story which was written in Mark chapter 3. The story of a handicapped person. The strategy he used is very interesting. He instructs the children to hold their hands back. Then he wants the children to enlist the difficulties they faced while holding their hands behind. They enlisted some of the difficulties they felt. They cannot eat, they cannot hold anything, they cannot even pick up a book. When a mosquito bites, how can they scratch the hand without the hands? This is a strategy Madhivanus Bishop used to teach the Sunday school students to internalize the values in children. Through these activities, through these strategies, Madhivanus Bishop inculcate a value of empathy, self-awareness, realizing the plethora of blessings from God Almighty and how to be thankful to God for his unlimited, unending blessings. Marivanius Bishop explores the idea through the means of questions to ponder on. He asked to the children, God has given you two watchmen. These two watchmen works for you. He takes care of you. He leads you when you go to the school. He senses all the external forces, external information and collect it and informs you. These two watchmen escape you from all dangers can you answer the two blessings the two watchmen given by the god almighty do you have any guess yes our two eyes these are the two watchmen who work till we go to sleep another question god has given you ten servants to serve you any guesses can you mention the name of the servants so these are the 10 servants given by God Almighty to each one of you to serve, to help, to assist you. So the name of the first uh, servant is little finger, ring finger, middle finger, index finger and the thumb. So let us have a look at the right hand also. So in total 10 servants are you to serve. This is the way Marivanius Bishop taught children for internalizing the values and uh, realizing the blessings of God. Dear children, he wrote another book for you about occasional prayers. Can I ask you a question? When do you pray? Do you pray only once in a day? In the morning? In the evening? Or occasionally? Here in this book, Marivanius Bishop reminds us the need to be thankful to God Almighty in each and every occasion that was given to us as the gift of God in the beginning and in the end of each and every occasion when you wake up early in the morning before you start for school at the time of study at the time of play and at the time of sleep his grace has written many pastoral letters to support to enhance the spiritual growth of children a few are Kuningal Kairu Sneha Kalpana. It was written in 15th January 1942. In this pastoral letter, Bishop says that the Holy Family of Saint Joseph and Mother Mary was blessed by the august presence of Jesus Christ. So our families too need to be blessed by the noble deeds and thoughts of the children. Another pastoral letter, it was written in 15th December 1934 about Holy Sacrament. In this letter, he says that the sacrament of uh, reconciliation and Holy Eucharist as the bath and banquet of the soul. In 6th January 1942, he wrote a letter which gives emphasis on the formation of faith, Vishwasa Parishilana. 
this book stresses on the significance of faith formation in children this is a minute reflection of his pastoral letters let us have a journey of his life which was very written in the book giridipa let your light so shine before men that they may be see your good works and give glory to your father who is in heaven matthew 5 6 today marivanius bishop is a shining star among the people of god as a student pt george he stood first in his classes he excelled in arts science and all extracurricular activities pt george used to kneel down and pray at uh, pudiyakau jacobit church on his way up and down to his school he is remembered as a favorite student by his teachers he excel in his studies he completed all his school education with flying colors besides studies he was the captain of football team at ng seminary with his brilliance in studies extraordinary capabilities and his humble behavior he became the apple of his teachers his peer students and all of his villagers day in and doubt he is a strong follower of jesus christ and he showed the path of jesus christ to many i just remember one incident as a seminarian pt george and his friends used to take bath in a stream nearby the seminary there was a small drop nearby the stream once pt george drew the symbol of a cross and told his friends to bow your head kneel down and pray for a while before jumping into the stream all his friends except one hesitated to do it and as what happened he drowned and finally the bishop saved him from drowning these two instances throw light upon the prayerful life of pt george dear children build your life for the glory of god through powerful life of prayer that was what marivanius bishop shot us now the unconditional love of bishop his kind and tenderness towards poor the downtrodden let us have a look on it as proverb 1917 says whoever is kind to the poor lends to the lord and he will reward them for what they have done Bishop started an orphanage under the management of Bethany Ashram. Irrespective of caste and creed, the Welshies bring so many children who have no parents, who had no one to take care of them. I would like to cite one instance. At the time of spreading smallpox at that place, the Ashramites came to know that five children they are in distress. due to their parents father and mother died due to the smallpox the ashramites took the children and they brought up in a proper way the ashramites pay special attention to these orphans in developing numeracy literacy character and developing their arts and aesthetic talents when the seminarians go to the native place for whole, for celebrating the holidays special days they used to take what often boy around with them this approach helped them a lot in developing an emotional security a feel of belongingness and self esteem many of the orphans have different talents the ashramites help all the students to develop their talents and aesthetic sense all of them studied well One orphan boy later wrote a book titled as Mari Vanius in the Anatha Ballad, the orphan boy of Mari Vanius. In his book, B. G. Jacob explained in detail the way Mari Vanius showered mercy upon him and the way he brought up in a positive way. I would like to extract some lines from the book written by B. G. Jacob, Mari Vanius in the Anatha Ballad. At a time when the rules and rights of discriminations were at their culminating sway, I, the one who was born and bred in a low caste, who managed to get literacy at hard hazards, who became the orphan boy of the unparalleled great Marivans. 
This shows Marimanius Bishop's kindness and concern towards children. Subsequently, Marimanius Bishop established Balika Madam at Tirumulapuram for bringing forth the girl children from the neglected community. Another instance I would like to cite is while going for begging arms, Marivanius Bishop cured a girl who was suffering from mental illness. The whole family, to express their gratitude, they arranged a feast for Marivanius Bishop. But Bishop hesitated to take the, the sumptuous food. He told the family to serve this sumptuous food to the Pulea child who was there. Bishop made the Pulea child to sit in the de decorated seat which was made for him and fed him. After that, he visited the Pulea child's hut and he received the hospitality of that family. They gave a chutney of water that was the only available food in that hut. After drinking the chutney of, a chutney of water, that was his food for that day. He told Brother Aloysius to give the money they got from the begging arms on that day. That was Marivanius Bishop. That was his kind. That was his concern and tenderness. I would like to mention another instance. As principal of MD Seminary, he gave special attention to backward children and slow learners. Once a naughty boy became a nuisance for teachers and students. As a principal, he caught him, he beat him and scolded him. The boy turned against Givergi Sachin and used abusive words. Later, Achim called him and consoled him. The boy felt guilty and he begged pardon to Achim. But Givergi Sachin told him that the wound you made in my mind, in my heart, will be bleed until you become a good boy. The boy agreed to be so and he never shot naughtiness. All these instances shows the compassion, the concern and love of Bishop towards children. Dear children, you have to become compassionate. You have to be kind enough to those who are downtrodden, marginalized and poor. While serving as a bishop, an unfortunate incident happened in his life. Some of the rivals, they pranked by showing the mock cremation of Bishop, the coughing procession. The thing was that at the same evening, the master mind of this coffin profession was sapped to death. The Bishop came to know this thing. He willingly forgave them and he visited the widow and the children and he gave financial assistance to the family. Definitely, Bishop had the heart to smile at the rivers too. I would like to tell you one more incident. Father Givargis and Father Charya Madate was going on a horse car. I am happy to say that Father Charya Madate uh, is my great grandfather. My mother is the grandchild of Father Andrew Charya Madate. While traveling, they were trapped by the bandits. Only two options are there in front of them fight or flight but neither of it was possible at that time the bandits snatched away the walking stick of bishop they did not do anything but they are aware that as they were the followers of christ they have to suffer such atrocities in future too there are so many instances that the bishop is a person of forgiveness his grace showed us, taught us, we can forgive to those who break our hearts. It is possible. Definitely it is possible. Children, try to practice forgiveness. Pray for those who break your hearts. Try to correct them. Pray for them. It is possible. Definitely it is possible. That is what Marivanius Bishop showed and taught us through all these incidents to improve the religious and social welfare of thousands of deprived, depressed persons. He started 
mission centers in many places. Marivanius Bishop and his companions made an earnest and sincere effort to uplift the conditions of these downtrodden, depressed, deprived people and their children. Children, all the above instances throw light upon the mercy, the tenderness, the love of Marivanius Bishop and his willingness to help the needy. He suffers to uplift the downtrodden, his forgiveness. Children, we have thousands of lessons to learn from him. He shows us the right model we have to practice in every walk of life. Definitely, from his life, it is clear that prayer and faith chase out fear. And it gives inner strength and motivation to help the needy. When we take risk, Definitely we will get rich dividends. We will be rewarded through his sacrifice, through his tireless work. He taught us that those of success are open to those who will work till the end. Jesus says a good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. As Marvanius Bishop was a good shepherd who knew the sheep who caters the need of the sheep, who owned the sheep and had taken immense pain for the upliftment for the welfare of the sheep. The life of Bishop was tied to the God, to the altar, to the church and the faithful. Indeed, we are fortunate to have a good shepherd, a good Samaritan, a radiant priestly personality as our patron. As we know, life is also an examination and the question paper is given by the God at the time of birth. Marivanius Bishop successfully completed the exam with flying colors. But the questions given to Marivanius Bishop was very tough and really complicated. Oppositions, miseries, conflicts, hurdles in reunion, misunderstandings and what and what not. Bishop faced all these challenges by the grace of God. Dear children, let us move forward on the same path shown by Marivanius Bishop, our spiritual patron. May God Almighty shower all his blessings to you and to your family. Let us invoke for God's blessing through the intercession of Marivanius Bishop. O oh Lord, we are at your mercy. We have dedicated ourselves to do your will. Loving Father, teach us to love you and love others. Teach us to do your adorable will. May we live and glorify your Lord with our lives. Let us offer our prayer requests through the intercession of Marivanius. Amen.